everyone, it's Kathy, and welcome to today's Core Strong Workout. So keeping with the theme of Core Strong, some of you may have a BOSU accessible to you. So I'm going to be bringing it out today and working on it today. Now, if you do not have a BOSU, you can use a step platform, you can use a squat step stool, goodness sakes, you could actually use a stock pot. All right, I've done that before. So, or you can just use the plain old floor. So don't think that you have to have a BOSU to do this workout. Also gonna be incorporating kettlebells today. You can use dumbbells as well. So this is a workout that you can um, do different equipment with so it's not you're not locked into one or the other. All right, so with that said, if you are using a BOSU and you haven't now used it in a while, like me, all right, you want to err on the side of really taking your time and being cautious with it. If you're finding that when we get to the kettlebell work that the BOSU is bogging you down and you're just not acclimated to it, take it off to the side and just do the floor work, all right, or just do it on the floor. So we always want to err on the side of safety in any single exercise that we do. I haven't used the BOSU in a while either, so we're going to take these moves slow and controlled and we're going to get our body reacclimated if you have one. If you don't have one, get one. All right, so we're going to start with our warm up. We're going to come onto one end of the BOSU or a step or just the floor. We're going to do three moves. We're going to squat down, we're going to tap up, we're going to squat down, we're going to lift, we're going to squat down, travel over. So it's squat, tap, squat, lift, squat, up and over. Squat, tap, squat, lift, squat, tap and over. Tap, squat, lift, squat, tap and over. Good, now we're gonna add an arm here if you can in that leg lift. Squat, tap, lift and over. Just warming up that body, getting it ready here. Good, down, tap, down, lift, perfect. Control, up. There is no piece of equipment that I know that's going to work that core this hard on that unstable surface. Oop, got bogged down on the move, here we go. Up, good, down, tap, down, lift, good, you've got one more each side like this, squat, tap, squat, lift, squat, over, stay with your squats, squat, 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 good job, straight up and down, booty back, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, exit off the back end. So if you've got the bosun in front or a step stool, we're gonna come into two taps. One, two, two jacks right here, let's go. One, two, one, two, did I do that? One, two, let's go, up, two, come on, tap, tap, Jack, jack, tap, tap, jack, jack. Now you can speed it up here. Up, two, up, up. Let's go. Up, up, jack, two, up, two. Keep going. Tap, tap. Work at your level. Tap, tap. Now just stay with the taps. Tap, 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 tap. Come on. Tap, 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 tap. Work it out. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're back in here. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Good old faithful jacks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, nice work, shake it out. Now, step stool, step floor, doesn't matter. We're gonna come into a front lunge into a reverse lunge. So you're gonna come back a little away from your bosu or step, you're gonna step in, and then you're gonna step back. You're gonna step forward, 
you're gonna step back. Good positioning. I call these pass-through lunges. All right, so it's a forward lunge, it's a reverse lunge. Good positioning, chest up, core strong, good job. Nice work. Pass it through, excellent. Breathe through this, last four, three, two. Here's your last one, this side, and one. This creates a lot of instability. All right, we're going into the other side. Pass through lunge, here we go. Lunge, forward, back. Good, now we're gonna be doing this with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. So if you do have a BOSU, you will feel that instability kicking in. Good job. Even if you're using a platform, you will feel that instability. Even if you're using the floor, as you pass through, you'll feel it. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one. Nice work. Now, if you have a BOSU, flip it over to the black side. All right, otherwise, can have your step in front of you. All we're gonna go is we're gonna come into a wide stance. We're gonna take it down and up, down and up. Now you can touch the floor, your step, doesn't matter. Straight down and up. And we're going to advance this in just a second where we're gonna add a thruster to this, all right? Thruster is optional. You can modify it. Good, we're gonna do four more, three more, two more, now we're gonna add a thruster here. So hands onto your bow suit, thrust it back and in, two of these, two overheads. Here we go, thrust it out, press it up. Good, out in. Nice work, out in. Work at your level, work with what you have. Good job, nice work here. Last two. Last one. Nice work. Out and in. Flip your bosu back over. We're just gonna come into some high knees here. We're gonna pull down with a nice wide leg switch. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Come on. Up, 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 up. Eight, seven, six. Five, out to that side. Four, three, two, last one. Right here, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. So think about what leg you're leading with. We're going to switch this out. Breathe in and out, come on. You're pushing out and in. Abs are strong, let's go. Four more, three, two, one. Switch it out, now switch lead legs, out, out. Come on, keep going. Breathe in. You'll have one last warm exercise in your warm up, and we're gonna rock. Let's go. Last four, three, two. Nice work in one. Now come to your bow suit or come to the floor. You're gonna go into a forearm plank. So bring those hands onto your dome. Rock those shoulders back. Abs are in. Just hold. So I want you to regroup, and I want you to really feel that core kicking in here. When you're in an elevated surface, all right, you're gonna feel your abs having to work hard to lift into that higher plane. You still wanna keep a nice um, tucked position here. You don't want those hips up to the sky. You wanna keep those shoulders relaxed away from your ears. I really just want you to feel those abs. Whether you're on a BOSU, whether you're on the floor, doesn't matter to me. What matters is that you really think about engaging and feeling everything to keep you in that plank position. Breathe in and out, let's go. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drive it back, sit all the way back. Breathe, nice work. Awesome, now just come up onto those knees. Just step one foot forward, just lean off that back. Just bring one hand to the floor, give yourself a nice big stretch. Nice, we're gonna take it to the other side. Right here, step it forward, hand to the floor, big stretch, look into the opposite side. Nice work. 
Bring that knee back one more time. Bring your hands to the floor. Hike into a down dog. Press that tailbone to the sky. Walk your hands to meet your toes and slowly roll your body up. Give yourself a couple of shoulder rolls. All right, so give yourself a little toe release here. When we do the BOSU, we'll go into a lot of ankle, so you will feel that. All right, so here's how this is going to roll. You're gonna have a series of exercises that you're going to do for 30 seconds. And then you will do that all over again, three full rounds. Now the first round, I'm gonna be a little kind to you, and I'm gonna give you a little extra time to kind of get through so I explain everything. Then the next two rounds are going to be 30 seconds 10 off of a timer, so you won't have much time to recover, and you will just have to keep moving. So we're gonna learn the moves the first round. The second two, we're gonna go into a full-fledged 30 seconds, 10 second hit timer. All right, so here's what I want. I want you to grab medium heavy weight. We're gonna come, I'm just gonna write my 15 for the first round. So we're going to, let me bring my BOSU back just a little bit. So, um, let me bring it back here so I can see, you can see me. All right, so here's what we got. You're gonna come onto one side of your step platform or floor. You're gonna just go into a squat, into a tap. So nice and easy, deep squat. All right, then we're gonna rack that weight. Weight's gonna be in front, elbow in line with your body. You're gonna come into a squat with a lift. You're gonna do 30 seconds on each side, and then we switch to the other side, all right? Take it from there. Let's get started. Pick a side, any side. Elbows in, 30 seconds of a squat tap in three, two, one, here we go, squat, tap, deep squat. Pull the belly in, now where are your elbows? I want them pulled into your rib cage here. I don't want them flare, flared out. Tuck in, good, so you're straight up and down. Good, push off and stand. Nice, now just let me just kind of mention something here. We got 10 seconds here. Your shoes matter on a BOSU. Down and up, keep going, four, three, two, and one. If you have running shoes, running shoes are a little slippery on a BOSU, so cross-training shoes are gonna be a little bit better if you have them, just an FYI. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go into those squat racked lift, leg lift out to the side. Elbow tucked in here. I don't want it out here. Sometimes it helps to hold on, so you have that positioning down pat. All right, squat lift in three, two, one, squat, push off, squat, push off, down. Beautiful, so you're on the floor, so you're here. All right, so you don't have a BOSU, so what? Don't cry me a river, keep moving. It's about what you have and it's about what you can do. Down and up. Nice, come on, keep moving. Down and up, 10 seconds. Push off, lift, push off, lift, nice. Breathe here. Two more, oh, one more, awesome. All right, roll it out. You're gonna meet me to the other side. Exact same move, okay? Squat tap, goblet hold, elbows in, in three, two, one. Squat, oh. elbows in, down, up, Nice, so it's been a while since I've used my BOSU in a full-fledged workout. Because uh, I know not everybody has one. So I'm trying to be inclusive here. This time to branch out a bit because of the core strong focus. Last two here. Uh, nice, all right. We're gonna rack it up on that outside. Elbow stays in line, not out here. Holding the kettlebell if you need to, squat lift. Three, two, one, squat, push off. So you're pushing off that stationary leg, whether you're on a step, whether you're on the floor. Come on, weight racked on that side. Now, if you don't wanna hold on to it, or you don't need to hold on to it, don't, all right? You can even bring that hand out to the side to increase that instability. Come on, nice and strong, good job. Two more, one more, beautiful work. Now, exit off, we're gonna bring the kettlebell in front of our body. Now we're gonna go into a front lunge, reverse lunge. All right, BOSU or floor, doesn't matter. So it's here, 
to here. <laughs> Easy for me to say, right? Front to back. 30 seconds left side, 30 seconds right side. Three, two, one. Here we go. So find a little rhythm. Elbows in. Good. Yes. Now if you're watching me, you're noticing how I was kind of really fighting for my balance. So whether you're doing this on a step, floor, or bosu, there should be some element of instability. Good. This is your last one here. And back, switch it out. All right, so you can do the same thing other side. All right, goblet hold in three, two, one, other side. Lunge in, push off, pass through. So you wanna make sure there's a little bit of a distance between your stationary leg and your front leg, especially when you come into your lunge position here. Good, come on, alternating sides here. Front to back, I should say, come on. Good work, nice work, you got one more here. Uh, Nice, now you're gonna plop yourself down onto the floor or your bosu. All right, dumbbell kettlebell, bottom of the kettlebell or one weight. You're gonna curl up, you're gonna halo around your head and then you're gonna do that again. Now to make this more challenging, lift your toes up off your bosu. All right, if your toes are touching, that's fine. But if you can, lift them up to create a little instability. If you're on the floor, you're not gonna be able to do that. All right, here we go. Roll the shoulders back, 30 seconds, alternating sides for the halo in three, two, one. Here we go. Curl and halo. Down up, alternating sides. Now the idea behind a halo is shoulder mobility and core. So by incorporating this on your BOSU, you are creating more instability. But if you were doing this on the floor, your core still has to work hard. Someone asked me what a halo does. A halo is really working your shoulder mobility front to back, and it's also working your core, especially if you're engaging it and thinking about it. All right, if you're not, you're not gonna get the full experience here. Good job, this is your last one here. Nice work. Now, you're gonna put your kettlebell down, you're gonna come into a push-up position. It's gonna come out, tuck your butt booty, you're gonna lower down and you're gonna lift. So I want your hands a little closer together because we're gonna work those triceps. So you're down, you're up, 30 seconds. You're down, you're up. <sighs> nice, now if you're on the floor, you know exactly what you need to do. <sighs> want those elbows in, they should be tracking right next to your rib cage. Head and neck should be neutral. <sighs> Good, come on, down and up. <clears throat> Breathe nice and strong. So I don't want your butt up to the sky, okay? This is not what I wanna see. Booty down, chest up. Tuck those triceps in. Nice work. We got about two more. Awesome work. Last one. Ah. Oh, okay. So that is your whole workout in a nutshell. All right, in the beginning. So we're gonna go through this now with a timer. Two entire sets. If you need extra time, take it. Otherwise, push yourself through. This will be a hit all the way through. So grab a weight that you can handle. I'm gonna up my body here to a 20 pounder here. Squat tap, one side in three, two, one. Squat, tap, Up. Oh, elbows in. Down and up. Think about what you're doing. All right, you went through everything one time. So this is where I want you to really focus and I want you to give me everything you have. Stay mindful, 13 seconds. Down and out. Good job. Awesome, all right. You're gonna rack that kettlebell. You're gonna go into that squat lift. Ooh, this 20 pounder feels heavy. All right, hold on to it if you need to. Here we go, squat, push off. Good 
Good job. 14 seconds. How are you feeling this? Sink down. All right, switching sides. Goblet hole in the center. Regroup. Small tap. Come on. You got this. Whatever level you're doing, own it. Halfway. Good. Eight seconds here. All right, break it up. Double rest on that bicep. Double stays in front. Here we go. So maybe you're doing everything on the BOSU until now. Maybe this is too much for you. You know your options. Come on. Don't stop and stare at me. Find an option and do it. Woo! 10 seconds. You feel those abs. Let's go. Nice. Woo! Going into those lunges. Whoa. That felt rough. Okay. Goblet hold. Front to back. Reverse lunge. Here we go. Get your rhythm. Push off. Shoulders are back. Goblet hold. Cranking those abs, biceps. 13 seconds. Come on. Do you hear me breathing? Yeah. I'm huffing and puffing here. Oh, okay. Switch inside. Now, depending upon the weight that you're holding, it's gonna make this harder. Here we go. Front to back. Now, when you switch sides, your body all of a sudden has to re-acclimate. Your body starts adapting on one side. So when you switch it, you're saying to it, okay, come on, time to switch. So now your body has to really work hard to make it seamless, let's go. Ah, all right, meet me on your BOSU. So you got your kneeling curls. Remember, with your halo, toes, let's go. Curl, halo. Remember, if you're on the BOSU, try to lift those knees or toes off the floor. All you'll notice, especially here, when you're coming all the way over the head, you're gonna feel some unstableness going on in your body. The halo, to me, is a phenomenal exercise because it works so much mobility of your shoulder, your back, Oh. All right, kettlebells down. We're going into push-ups for 30 seconds. Your way. Remember, your hands are close together. They're looking like this. Here we go. Up to push up and in. So we're working that bicep, tricep, guys. Elbows are glued. Now, if you want to, you can pick one leg up and you can give me a single right here. Now that's entirely up to your fitness level and how you're feeling. And if you think you can, amp this up. You've got seven seconds to go. You're doing great. Now don't do what I just did. I get the opportunity to stretch it out because I'm coaching. All right, guess what? We've got one final round. All right, we're taking it from the top, although we're gonna start on the side that we finished with. Goblet squat, here we go, come on. This is your last time. No time to waste, let's get her done. Hit is high intensity interval, meaning less recovery. 
30 seconds, we can do this. Down, squat tap, 13 seconds. If you set your mind to it, you got it. Come on. Push off that leg. Awesome. All right, wrap her up. Yikes. Huh, note to self, gotta use this thing more. All right, here we go. Squat lift. Now you can sometimes find these on marketplaces. But I'm telling you it's a good investment. Push off. There are so many things you can do with it. Uh, come on. Woo! Four seconds. Pull. Felt that one. Other side. If it's your birthday, ask for one. Here we go. When I get fitness equipment for my birthday, I know I'm a fitness instructor and I get excited, but my body says thank you. Come on. Keeps on giving. Let's go. Oh boy. This 20 pounder feels like 50. Ah. Five seconds, guys. All right, you're gonna rack it, you're gonna lift it. So, elbow in front, hand down the bow suit or cuddle if you have to, or wait to one. Push off. One at a time here. Head up, booty back. So your instability is working hard your abs, your thighs, your shoulders. Come on, head up. Don't lean forward, push up. Woo, 10 seconds, you guys, come on. Four seconds. Give me one more. Oh my, that was rough. If I pass through lunges. Come on. I want to drop my weight down so bad. Let's go. Front. Two. Good positioning to the front. Good positioning to the back. The front knee. Move my kettlebell. My nose up a little bit. Knees to track. Rear shoelaces. Don't lean forward. Six seconds. Ah. Woo! Okay, switching legs. Then you got your kneeling halo curls and push ups. All right, here's the last round. Here we go. Come on. Nice. Breathe. 14 seconds. Head up. Eight seconds to go. Ah. Kneeling halos. Oh. Oh. Elbows and knees. Heavy weight. Let's go. Curl. You want to keep those elbows in. Remember, you're alternating sides here. Toes up if you can. All right, so I'm going to give you a side view here. Creating some instability here. All right, pick the level that you can do good. Awesome, all right. Last round of push-ups. Remember, you can add that alternating leg lift if you choose, but remember, your hands are close together, elbows are glued into your rib cage. Push-up position, here we go. Head up, lower left. Lower left. Abs are in. Nice core strong. So remember, you wanna amp it up. 
but you need to keep good positioning. If your butt's in the sky, I, you better not be lifting that leg. This is forcing your core to work harder, your upper body and your triceps, seven seconds. Oh, woo, you did it. Nice work, shake it out. All right, now grab some water. That was phenomenal, guys. All right, so we're gonna come into one more sequence, a little bit of a ladder pyramid, I should say. So if you have a BOSU, would you just flip the BOSU over? So here's what you got. We're gonna come into two high pull flips. Now a high pull flip, whether you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, is you're gonna come down, you're gonna flip it, at this, you're gonna high pull it, flip it and press. So it's all one motion, high pull, flip and press. So as you're coming up, you're high pulling it, flipping the bottom of the kettlebell straight up. So you're gonna do two. Then you're gonna go into two thrusters. Then you're gonna go into four. Then you're gonna go into two thrusters. Then you're gonna do six, two thrusters. All right, then you're gonna do eight, two thrusters. All right, I'm gonna take a quick little breather. Then we're gonna go right back down. Eight, six, four, two. All right, that'll be it. Then we're gonna go into some abs to finish us out. Okay, it's a short and sweet workout. All right, so here we go. Two high pull, so up, flip, and press in three, two, one. High pull and flip one. And two, two thrusters. One, two. So if you're on the floor, you're on the floor. Here we go, four. One, two, three, four. Nice work, two thrusters. Now you can do these just like this, or you can add that thruster. All right, we're on sixes. Here we go. Down, up, flip and press, one. Head forward, two, three, heads are in, four, five, six, ha, two thrusters, one, two. All right, last round from this pyramid up, or down, is eight, or up, I should say, here we go. Down, up, one, two, keep your gaze forward, booty back, three, high pull flip, four, five, six, seven, eight, two thrusters. Awesome. All right, we're gonna come into a 20 second in out ab or in out legs, right side, 20 second in out legs, left side. All right, all right, so we're gonna start with our feet together using our right side, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Here we go. Come on. Can you get lower? You got 10 more seconds this side. Push, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Four, three, two, one, switch. Out, 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 out. Come on. Can you get lower, head up? Let's go. 10 seconds and we go into our flips in reverse. Eight, six, four, two, come on. Four, three, two, one. Okay. All right, you need a quick towel off, go for it. All right, we're going into our flips. Starting with eight flips, two thrusters. All right, guys. Then we're three. Two, we got eight, one, here we go. Down, up, one, two, three, four, halfway, five, six, seven, one more, eight, two thrusters. Here we go, one, two. All right, one, sixes, here we go, six, Five, four, working those shoulders. Three, two, one, 
two thrusters. <sighs> nice, run fours. See how fast this goes? Here we go. Four, three, two, one more. <clears throat> nice work. Two thrusters. <sighs> Woo! All right, so here's the deal. You got two, then you're gonna be eight thrusters. All right, here we go. One, here goes eight thrusters right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're going into our in now fast feet. Left leg, so move for 20 seconds left, 20 seconds right. Three, two, one. Come on, shake it. Go, go, go. Push. You couldn't go faster if I put a match to your feet. Come on. That's it. Shake it out. Switching legs in three, two, one. Out in. Whew. Right, left. That's okay. Takes a minute for my brain to wrap around it, yeah? Go! Faster, faster, faster. Abs in, head up. Booty back, lower. 10 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Either you bosu or the floor. You can even use a step here. So we're just gonna finish with a little bit of abs. We are done. So, butt on the top of your dome. Ha! Ah. All right, so level one, you're gonna be with a kneel back or leaned back position, scoop the belly in. Your legs are gonna be kind of long, slight bend in your knees. Now your hands can be here, they can be on the floor behind you. Depends where you're seated, but keep that belly in. Right hand behind the left, we're just gonna go into an oblique crunch. All right, so if you don't need the support here, don't use it. All right, so scoop the belly, roll it in. Here we go, three, four, lean back, five, lean back, six, seven, Eight, eight more. Eight, seven, six, raise those abs. Five, up, four, up, three, two, and one. All right, reset. Do the same thing. Remember, if you don't need the hand, don't use it. Scoop the belly in. Opposite hand. Three, two, one. Here we go. In, out, in, and out, in, and out. Here's three. Four, make sure you when you extend that leg, you lean back. Five, six, seven, eight, eight to go. Eight, seven, six, yes. Five, four, three, uh, two, one. Whoo, okay. Both to or floor, doesn't matter where you're at. All right, if you're on the floor, you're gonna bring those hands behind you. You're gonna bring your knees. You're gonna drop them to the right, and your shoulder is gonna kind of turn to the left, and then you're gonna switch. Switch, switch, switch. Now your hands can be behind you to give you a little extra support. Drop, lift them up, and rotate them. Yeah, say hello to your obliques. You've got eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one. I'm burning. Oh, so a little bit of those hip flexors are taking advantage. All right, hinge forward. Okay, so here's your last and final. If you don't have a BOSU, I want you to come to the floor. I want you to lay flat on your back. All right, if you have a BOSU, just want you to comfortably place your low back onto the BOSU. Your butt should not be on the floor. All right, so your hands are gonna be behind your head. So if you're on the floor, you're gonna bring your head to the floor. And you're gonna give me a three count crunch. So it's up, two, three, hold, two, three, and down. Elbows open wide, hold, two, three, 
and down. So if you're on the floor, I want you to, you can bring your legs up, two, three, or you can keep them on the floor. Let's go. Up, two, three, hold, two, three, down. Feel those abs. One, two, three, hold, two, three, down. Come on. Up, two, three, or as high as you can go. Hold, two, three, two more. Up, two, three, hold, two, three, lower, one more. Up, two, three, hold, two, three, down, singles. Up, now that head, neck, chin should be imaginary tennis ball. Oh, so you should really be feeling your entire rectus abdominis here. Feel that sheet of six pack abs last eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You're gonna hold the last one, two at the top, hold it here, reach, pull, reach, pull, pull the rope. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lean back, stretch. So if you're on your BOSU, bring your hands directly out to your side. Let your body conform to the BOSU or just lay straight back, arms out. So if you have a stability ball, you can actually use it here for your stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. I want you to feel all that stretch going on through your rib cage, through those arms. And I want you to slowly and carefully pull yourself up to a seated, whether you're on the floor, whether you're on the step, whether you're on a BOSU. Take one leg, cross it over, pull that leg up and in, and then lean into that stretch. Nice. So you're gonna feel a figure four stretch going on. And take it down, bring those legs long, cross the other leg over, drag that foot in until you can't come up anymore, and then lean into it. Ooh, right away you should see, you feel one side might be a little tighter than the other. And release it. All right, so come into a little straddle. I'm gonna bring this out here. We're just gonna go into a windmill stretch, stretch, and stretch. Now I want you to think of your pinky toe, finger going towards your pinky toe. Eight, seven, opposite arm is long. Six, tracking behind you. Five, four, three, two, and one, just take a wide stance forward. Walk it, tuck your chin, round forward. Grab an inhale, bring your hands back up, bring those feet in. I want you just to bring one arm up and over, pull it across the body. Stretching through the triceps. Opposite arm, pull it back. Hands behind you, so your fingertips are facing away from you. Open up that chest, puff it out. Breathe in and out. We're just gonna come to a standing position from here. All right, come up to a standing position. You're gonna bring one foot on the floor in front of you or your bow suit or step. Heel down, want just to hinge forward. Feel that stretch. Take your toe, place it all the way down and hold. Nice, flip it up one more time and give it a nice strong little flex. Nice work. Bring that toe to the floor. Give yourself some rotations to one direction and reverse. A little ankle mobility and switch. Here we go. Hinge forward. And now take your toe, place it all the way down. You're going to go for a stretch coming in the front. Flex it one more time. Grab a quick little tug. Come on up. Bring that toe to the floor. Circle it out. Reverse the circle. Step it out, give me one ginormous inhale, and scoop up. Come to your heart center, give yourself a round. All right, hope you felt that workout. Hope it was fun for you. All right, um, if you have a BOSU, try incorporating in your workout. If you don't have a BOSU, look for one, um, and just keep practicing. Whether you do it on the BOSU, whether you do it on the floor, 
Remember to keep that core strong. All right, I will see you in your next workout. Take care. Bye.